Okay, so next problem is problem 10, summation of primes. Um, here it is right here. Now, the sum of all primes below 10 is 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, which is 17. Bind the sum of all the primes below 2 million. So this one should be a really quick one, shouldn't take too long. Um, we've done stuff with primes before, I'm just going to recycle code in this one. So if you haven't seen um, the video I did on the pro problem 7 and the improvement I made to problem 7, then I would strongly recommend you go and watch those because I'm going to be recycling the code from that. So, yeah, let's get started. So, here's problem 7, here's the code I'm going to be using. So, I'll copy this over. Um, what this does is it finds a specific number, prime number. So, it might find the 10th prime number or the 100th prime number. Um, so, yeah, what I'm going to be doing instead is finding all prime numbers up to a certain number. So to do this, what I'm going to do, and I don't need this anymore, um, I'm just going to be adapting this code slightly. So I'm still going to keep a list of primes because what I want to do at the end is sum them. Uh, I'm still going to be using this list of primes to check because I want to be doing it fast. Uh, still going to be using the index, going to be using all this. The only thing changing is the number prime to find. So now instead of the number prime to find, it's going to be number prime to find. Um, up to so we're gonna go up to uh, two million it says so two one two three four five six now uh, I've actually am I done that right yeah so that there's two million um so now number prime to find up two and now instead of the length of list of primes we're gonna say while list of primes um, while the last element of list of primes is less than the number prime to find up to um, then we're going to run this and then what we're going to do is at the end we're going to um, we're going to say list of primes dot pop this, uh, this sort of will delete an element so we want to pop the, uh, the last element out so I think you actually do it with a curly bracket, uh, uh, parentheses I guess, um, and minus one. This is to remove it by index. So I think that will do it. Uh, if I now print out list of prime, whoops, print. Wow, I can't type. Print list of primes right there. Then I print it again. Um, now instead, actually we will go up to 2 million, I should, no I won't, we won't, I'm going to go up to 200, um, so this is 10.py, is a list index out of range. So that's because list of primes is actually empty. Um, what I'm going to do here is start this out with 2 in and I'm going to start x off at 3 uh, hopefully this will work ok so you see here we've went up to 200 and then we've put in the last one but then realised it's too big so we uh, popped out the last one so it, it is working as I expected we're popping out this last value so now what we need to do is, instead of doing all these prints, which we don't need anymore, um, we need... So we're going to pop this last value, then we're going to say print uh, sum list of primes. Now I don't know if this is going to work, can you sum a list? I can't remember. Um, yeah, so there we go. Sum list of primes 4,227. This is for obviously the first um, up to 200. So now 2,000, 20,000, 200,000, 2 million. Now if I run this, so here's the answer right here for all the primes up to 2 million. Um, and there's the answer right there, which you'll see they do match. So we've got the right answer. Um, it did take 5.7 seconds, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, 
I'm not too sure if there's many quicker ways to do it. Um, so yeah, if you were stuck on this question, there you go, there's the answer. Um, there's how you do it. You basically can recycle this code. For anyone who doesn't know what this code does, um, like I say, go watch episode 7 or problem 7 that I made a video on. Uh, that describes all this code, tells you how it all works. Um, all you need to change from it is this line right here and this right here. So really simple stuff um, or really simple if you already know how to do 7. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you like the video, like it, subscribe, all that usual shit. Feel free, go do it. Good stuff. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.